Today's video is a really important one and it's regarding recapture. Now, uh, in essence, this should eliminate all of those pesky um, spam signups that you may or may not be receiving on your sites or your courses right now. So here I am within my admin site of um, one of my sites that show you how this works. Now, a couple of things to caveat for all of your existing sites and or courses, um, you will need to manually enable either the visible or the invisible capture, which I'll show you now. Now, moving forward so for all new courses and cited sites, um, you will have automatically an invisible populated recapture, um, which you can, of course, change to be visible as well. But let's, let's take you through the steps now and come back to some of the points towards the end of the tutorial. So here I am in my admin side under my site and pages. I'm going to go to login and press the pencil. And here I am. I come into my login site, top right hand corner, a uh, little downward triangle right in the top right hand corner. Press on that page settings. Now within page settings, you'll see here, we have enable recapture, recapture type, type to be visible or invisible. So we can choose for the capture to be on or off. In my instance, in this instance, and for many of you, you would want this to be on. The options for visible, let's update. And as always, save. And then you will need to preview. So let's have a look at preview and it's going to be loading up. And you'll see now we've got the I'm not a robot recapture right in the middle here. OK, so that's a visible option. Let's go and have a look at the invisible option. Page settings on and it's invisible. Update. Saving and preview and you will see it right at the bottom of the page here. Now, what will happen, as you know, with recapture, if there's any uh, thought or process that it may be a spam, then it will action for them to take action to confirm that it isn't a spam. Now, again, a couple more things to caveat. Um, existing sites and courses, you will need to manually enable this. Um, also, if you do encounter any issues uh, on certain pages, you may just need to delete the existing form block and then just add a new login form block. OK, but for now, for the sign up pages, you shouldn't encounter any problems at all. But if you do just delete the particular form and drag in uh, a new form for your sign up page.